Hello friends. Today we are going to read Why You the Wind. The author is Madhuri Pai. The illustrator is Rijuta Ghate. The translator is Rohini Nilekani and the publisher is Pratham Books. So let's read Vayu the wind. Have you heard the word Vayu? Have you heard the word wind? Vayu is the wind which is moving air. When air is moving it is called wind. Let's read more about what Vayu the wind does. Every time I finish my hot, hot bath, my wet body feels so cool, cool, cool. Who makes that happen? Why are you the wind? So what do you see in this picture? This boy is taking a bath. And what happens to the water on his body when it is wet? Even though the water is hot when he pours it, but the wind is coming through the window and when the wind is coming, the water starts drying and that makes it cool down. And so his body feels cool when the wind blows on his body, even though the water was hot. This is why you the wind who makes that happen. The milk in my cup is too hot, too hot. But soon it is ready for me to gulp. Who makes that happen? Why you the wind? So here what do you see? This girl is sitting here at this table with a cup of milk and it is really hot. It's hot, too hot to drink. So what she does, you can see in the picture, she is blowing on it, right? You do this when something you want to eat is so hot, you blow on it to cool it down. So how does it cool down? By you the wind, by blowing wind on it. The window curtains flutter and gently brush my face. Who makes it happen? Why you the wind? And here, what do you see? There is this open window and the curtain. And this girl is standing near the curtain. And when the wind is coming in through the open window, it pushes the curtain. It moves the curtain and makes it flutter, move quickly with the wind. And what happens? It brushes the girl's face. A bolt of lightning far away. Black clouds moving my way. Who makes that happen? Why are you the wind? So here what do you see? There are a lot of dark clouds in the sky. Right? And there is lightning. And who is this? Why you the wind? The wind pushes the clouds. So you can see sometimes clouds are moving in the sky. Sometimes what happens when there's a lot of wind blowing, the wind can push the clouds and make them go somewhere else. Branches sway and leaves tremble. Flowers gently fall. Who did it all? Why you the wind? And here you have this tree with branches and flowers. And what happens when the wind blows? The branches are swaying. They are gently moving with the breeze. And leaves are trembling, shaking. And flowers are actually falling. And this is because of Vayu. Far from the house, we are playing. Yet, I can smell the sweets mother is preparing. Who makes it happen? Why you the wind? 
So here, what do you see? There are some sweets sitting on the table. This girl's mother has been making sweets. She is outside the house. The girl is outside the house and she can still smell the sweets. How? Because the wind blows that smell out of the house. You might have also seen when you walk past a sweet shop, what happens? You can smell it, no? It smells so tasty and you can smell the food. A glass tumbler on a window sill crashes on the ground. Thank God I was not around. Who played this mischief? Of course, it was Vayu, the wind. So what happened here? There was a glass tumbler on this window sill and the wind comes in with great force through the window and when that happens, it pushes the glass down. Just like the wind can push the clouds and push the smell, it can also push the glass tumbler down to the floor and make it break. And so who played this mischief? It was Vayu. A whistle blows. A train rolls in. I cannot see, but I hear its din. Who makes that happen? Vayu, the wind. And here what happens? There is a train going somewhere far away. You can't see it, but you can certainly hear it. The train's whistle is loud. It makes a din. It's a loud sound. And how can you hear it? It's because the wind is carrying the sound with it towards you towards these two children and they can hear it. Cannot be seen, cannot be heard, does all the work without a word. Who can it be? So who is this in this picture? Who is not seen and not heard but does all the work without saying anything. Who do you think it is? Can you solve the riddle? Of course, the wind. Why are you the wind? Of course, you know the answer. It is why you the wind who is not seen, not heard, but does a lot of work without making a single sound. I hope you enjoyed this story. Thank you. The difficult words in this story are wind, moving air, gulp, swallow quickly, flutter, to move back and forth quickly, sway, to move gently back and forth, Tremble, shake, din, loud noise. Try these questions. Can you find some rhyming words in this story? Words that sound the same? For example, fall and all. Write down the pairs of rhyming words you find. What all does the wind do in this story? Write about it in your own words. Write down the different ways you see the wind doing its work around you.